Just to touch on last weekend, uh, Continuity IRA mm. claimed to have left a number of devices uh, around the county, in particular in a skill. Now, your police force have come under scrutiny here again for not taking this um, threat serious enough in a number of shopping centres. What do you say to that? Well, again, I can uh, actually answer that very well because I was here uh, in Inniskillen with Chief Superintendent Scoos uh, and we were immediately made aware by the duty inspector of a number, uh, a raft of calls. Uh, they were treated all very seriously. Obviously, we can't uh, send people to everything because there was a significant number ac across the district. But uh, we immediately started what we uh, very strict procedures in these things, looking at do we have any intelligence in this, uh, looking at any potential targets, looking at the likelihood of an attack. And there was a mixed response, uh, which is in line with police policy. Police went to certain areas, uh, also in other areas, the, the staff were uh, asked to check the premises. Now you, you did mention there that staff were involved in some of the searches. I mean, is it police po policy for civilians to check, check for bombs? Yes, it's a standard police process, UK and Ireland wide. If we are given uh, what we believe to be uh, a hoax call, if, we, if somebody brings in and says, you know, there's, there's something there ticking, and, uh, that's a different matter. That's when we will look at it or call in our colleagues from the army. But if we get a widespread, you know, X amount of calls and we have no intelligence that there is anything to back that up, uh, if we believe, as, as we believe this was, and as it was a, a disruption technique of X amount of calls, what we will say to staff is don't put yourself at any danger and look around. And if one out of the 10 venues tells us we're concerned, then we know there's where our priority needs to be. And that's when we step in. And we will, you know, as I think has been historically the case, we will put ourselves in harm's way. And we are content to do that because we're public servants. I suppose finally, um, I mean, obviously you've outlined some of your reasoning behind some of your, the police's response time in Newton Butler. But there can be no doubt about the fact that the police have come under some criticism and come under some damage in their reputation. How, how, what steps are you going to take maybe to repair this? Well, at start I would say criticism is good, feedback is good. Uh, I have an old adage that I, I employ in my police career that I would rather hear the bad things than the good because the good things you're already doing, uh, the bad things are things that uh, you, you maybe don't know about. So I would welcome the public engaging whatever format to tell us what they think. And I think, again, going back to what I said about Newton Butler, if I tried to fudge this issue by saying, well, I think it's a great response and the police did nothing wrong and I'm really happy about it, the public would be suspicious. I think, and I hope, they welcome the fact that I, as a commander, said, listen, I made the decision. Graham Dodds made that decision for reasons that Graham Dodds has explained as best he can to the public, has also explained to his commanders and they're satisfied with and that Graham Dodds, as a person and as a police officer, said he didn't like that response time. Uh, so I hope the public are reassured by that. I think there's nothing worse than public servants trying to, to fudge issues and, and not answer. I've given people I think, very as everything I can possibly tell them, I've told them. And I hope people know that I'm an honest person. I, I'm not, no back doors in me. Uh, I've told them everything I could. So I hope that reassures public confidence that we are, are trying to protect ourselves so that we can protect the public. Dead police officers are no use to the people of County Fermanagh. Dead members of the public are no use to the people of County Fermanagh and it would be a tragedy if people were killed by coming near us during an incident. We are actively, as I think people are well aware, tackling head-on dissident terrorism and working to have the day come, I hope soon, when Fermanagh is known for, for being the most friendly county in Ireland and one of the safest counties, if not the safest.